The Timberwolves have a new owner, but the young players have clearly not yet been introduced. I'm Madeline Burke for Sports Illustrated here with SI's Ben Pickman and Ashley Nicole Moss. And guys, Anthony Edwards was asked Tuesday if he was a fan of new Timberwolves owner Alex Rodriguez, and this is how he responded. Do you have any thoughts about him? Are you an A-Rod fan at all growing up or anything like that? What do you think about what he might bring to the team? A fan? What do you mean? Like, who is he? The baseball player, Alex Rodriguez? Yeah, no, nah, I, I don't know who that is. Okay. I know he's going to be the owner, but I don't, I don't, I don't know nothing about baseball. Now, clearly, this kid has no idea who A-Rod is. Ashley, what do you make of this? I 100% believe him, unfortunately. It's just this generational gap that I just feel is mind-boggling. It reminds me of the time I was in the car with one of my friends. We were playing NSYNC, and her little sister was like, who is that? You don't know who NSYNC is? Justin Timberlake? Britney Spears? I mean, come on. And, I mean, Alex Rodriguez isn't like a regular schmegular former baseball player. He's a 14-time All-Star. He won a World Series. I mean, even if you don't follow baseball, you should know who A-Rod is. And, I mean, hello, Jennifer Lopez. I'm sure you know who J-Lo is as well. But even besides all of that, if you know that your team was just bought out by some new people, you would think you would hit the Google and say, hmm, A-Rod, don't know who that is, but let me look it up. But again, you know, Edwards doesn't strike me as somebody who cares about breaking news if it doesn't involve him. So he's probably in his own world and very comfortable there, but it's still a mind-boggling realization that he does not know who Alex Rodriguez is. I mean, hey, Anthony Edwards is 19 years old. So, I mean, he he was very young when Alex Rodriguez was still playing baseball. So it's very feasible that he doesn't. I mean, he's from Atlanta. He's not from the New York area. So maybe he's not, you know, a Yankees fan. And yes, you know, pop culture, you probably should have picked up on it. But hey, that's fair. I mean, Sports Illustrated gets bought. I'm not immediately Googling the life story of every new owner of the company. I'm like, okay, cool. I'm going to keep doing my job and doing it well. But Ben, when you see this, what do you think? I mean, but you don't even need to have watched A-Rod as a baseball player, right? He is also a baseball analyst on ESPN and on Fox. And beyond that, this is A-Rod who was or is in a relationship with J-Lo, who was at Joe Biden's inauguration. They were the first couple shown on New Year's Day on ABC's broadcast. They're at the Met Gala. They're at the Oscars. They're on every entertainment magazine cover. You know, when I saw this clip, one of the things I'd like to imagine was someone from A-Rod Corp, A-Rod's business, just sending Anthony Edwards an email with Alex Rodriguez's resume and just it being pages upon pages upon pages. And I would just love to get Anthony Edwards' reaction to all the things that A-Rod has done and where he's been and all the places He's appeared. This is Alex Rodriguez. You don't even need to have watched him as a baseball player. And Anthony Edwards said he was a baseball player. Still, he has not watched A-Rod. There's just so much. A-Rod is omnipresent in, in all of our lives, it feels like. And so that's why this was so surprising to me. Hey, I mean, my brother was a very talented baseball player, and he doesn't watch baseball. He's not going to watch a major league game. And so, I mean, credit to Anthony Edwards. This just shows how dedicated he is to his craft, that clearly he's got his nose in the playbook and is watching nothing but film because he's missed the Oscars. He's missed the inauguration. He's missed all of this. But I'm sure he does know who A-Rod is now.